Hello, everyone. This is Wilson Cole, and I am president of Adams, Evans, and Ross. And I want to talk to you about something that uh, is, is changing. I know our staff attorney and our general counsel is having to work its way through there. And I just want you guys to kind of know what's probably coming down the pike. And I know a lot of you guys are, are seeing a lot of the press on it as well. And that is with non-competes. You know, in non-competes, I've been in business 30 years, and quite frankly, we require a lot of our key people to sign uh, non-competes for the obvious reasons. But what's happened, unfortunately, in the industry is they've gotten so punitive to where it would keep someone literally from making a living in their livelihood if they were ever to leave that company. So the federal government is going to step in and fix the issue and the problem is any business owner that's here knows that when the federal government steps in to fix an issue, they, they always have unintended, and con uh, unintended consequences. I think it was Ronald Reagan that said the most terrifying sentences in the world is I'm with the federal government and I'm here to help. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. As, as we get more information, we're going to share it. I know that at the United States Staffing Association, one of the things that our general counsel is going to be discussing, because uh, she's also the educational and legislative chair for the United States Staffing Association, is some of the techniques that, that will be used or the replacements that will be used in lieu of, of, of the non-competes. Now, how they will fare out, you know, who, who's to say, like I tell all the attorneys around here, this is why everybody hates your guts, is it's not black and white, it's shades of gray. It, you know, it looks like what we will do here with our company and take that for what it is, is it will use uh, confidentiality agreements to where we already have that built in because we certainly don't want employees sharing information that's ours or our client's information. So it's reasonable. But I would recommend that everyone, you know, certainly uh, plan on going to the United States Staffing Association you know, where that's going to be one of the topics that they're going to cover. If we can help you with collections, we'd certainly love to work with you. Please visit uh, our website, uh, staffingdebt.com, and book uh, an appointment to speak with me or one of our staff attorneys to discuss the specifics of your case. Hey guys, it's Wilson again, and this video was brought to you by Adams, Evans, and Ross. And if you like the video, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below as well. If you'd like to learn more about our company, please visit our website at staffingdebt.com. And also remember, if there's no collection, there's absolutely no cost at all.